Hey everybody, Dr. Tom Carr here, aka Dr. Stocks. That's D R S T O X X of drstocks.com and drstockstrading.com. D R S T O X X trading.com. Go to either one of those sites to take a look at the stock pick letters that we sell there, as daily, weekly stock pick letters as well as uh, ETF letters, trading manuals, trading webinars, merchant, sorry, managed accounts. It's been a long day. Um, private coaching and all kinds of other things we've got going on. So give us a good look. Hey, uh, we made uh, $584 today. Not a, not a bad take on a single day of trading, but not far from what we were doing last week when we had four digit days. We had a couple of nice four digit days last week. Uh, in any case, we'll take it. Uh, the market was up today about uh, 175 points for the Dow, half a percentage point for the S&P 500 and the small cap index. Oil was down, VIX falling hard. Uh, so overall, pretty decent day for the market. We were a bit underperforming today, but um, that's typical for me on a Monday because that's when I do all of my shifting out of my weekly trades. So I sold a lot of stocks today. You can see all of all of these where it shows zero in the position slot. Uh, those are all sells. And some of these were for nice gains. I sold my position in meat for a gain of uh, 1600, I think it was 1590 something. And I sold uh, uh, NANO, Nano for about $800 uh, in the bank. So those were a couple of nice gains and then a number of smaller gains and a few small losses um, all got taken off the table today. And I did a little bit of jockeying around with my open positions. I took a bit off the table on some of those that had nice profits. You can see here we've got four digit profits in a couple of trades, ENT and SSKN. Uh, took some off the top there and put some of that cash to work in stocks that I was a little bit down on. Um, and then I also added a few new positions today. We added a position here in JILL and one in TLYS. Uh, TLYS is one of our newsletter trades, a trend trade letter. Got off to a really nice start today, up 5%. What a beauty. Uh, SSKN is a trade we have on in our cheap stocks letter. It was up 11% today. We're up over about 23 or 4% now since we entered that position around $1.50 a share. So that's a nice, nice looking trade and a new trade on in SCVL, which got off to a decent start, uh, up about 5%. And CVRR is the stock I want to talk about today. Where we got really whacked today, though, was in ASYS, a stock that I've been really high on, been promoting it. And I wouldn't say promoting. I've got my subscribers in it. My cheap stocks letter subscribers are long ASYS. I've been talking it up on the Stock Twits board, my Facebook page, Twitter page. And by the way, if you're not following me there on any of those three boards, you should be because I give out a lot of, a lot of stock picks and talk about a lot of stocks throughout the trading day over on Stock Twits especially, but also on my Twitter feed, the Dr. Stocks Twitter feed and Dr. Stocks uh, Facebook page, Dr. Stocks Trading Facebook page. Now, I just wanted to, uh, to let you know that when you sell a lot of stocks like this, you pay a fair amount in commissions. Now, this is a typical Monday for me. And uh, you can see that my commissions over here, most of them are about a buck because a lot of these were smaller trades, taking a little bit off the table, putting some back to work in other stocks. But, you know, there were some in the double digits here, $12, $10, $10, $12, et etc all told maybe seventy eighty dollars in commission something like that so uh, that's one of the reasons why on Mondays I tend to be a little bit on the lower side as well because I'm trading I'm not trading big size this is a uh, an account that I cap at two hundred thousand dollars this is my short-term swing trading trend trading account I have two hundred thousand dollars in this max and once we get up to that level I take a good chunk off the top put that into my long-term position trading portfolio. That's how I leverage. That's how I leverage our trading profits and then build it back up to 200,000. So we're at about 180, 182, I think right now, something like that, 183 maybe. Uh, we did hit intraday today. 
So once we get up to 200,000, we'll take some off the top. I don't like to trade a big account in these uh, short term trades because uh, a lot of the stocks that I'm finding with my scans are under the radar, hidden gem type stocks, not a whole lot of daily vo uh, volume in those stocks. And so I'm, I don't really want to enter them with big size. If I do, I'm going to get a really bad fill on the on the. Uh, you know, going into the trade and another bad fill getting out of the trade and that just hurts your profit. So I like to cap this at 200,000. In addition, I have my newsletter subscribers in a number of these stocks. I don't want to mess things up for them by creating a crowded trade. So I cap my own account at 200,000. I manage my, my managed accounts on other days of the week. I only do my own account on Monday. Uh, anyway, that's just how I do it. Now we were up 500 something. Now we're up 400 something because we're getting some after hours shifting around. But that's okay. That's normal stuff. Now let's go to the charts and let me show you. Oh, and it just uh, to show you too down here, some of our best gains today came from our. Let me get these off the off the board. Uh, some of our best gains today came from my longer term positions in uh, the stocks that I. I uh, uh, publish in my ICTHUS letter, I-X-T-H-Y-S letter. You can find that on ICTHUSletter.com. We had, uh, let me think now, we had uh, ARCC, one of my favorite income plays. Pays a very nice dividend, very healthy stock. It's just been going up and up uh, slowly, a few pennies each day. It's up to 17 now. Uh, we're, we have long-term position in NVDA, NVIDIA, the you know, the video card maker, among other things, and artificial intelligence, hit a new all-time high today, up almost 3%. Beautiful trade. We're in Tesla. We've been in Tesla for a long time now, um, down around 160 or so, 170 a share. We're now we're up to no nearly 300. And uh, I just have a, <laughs> just a handful of shares, three. of a bigger term, a bigger position in my long-term portfolio in Tesla and all these other stocks as well. But uh, this is my trading account, so I'm, I'm in and out of these positions quite frequently. And um, that's doing nicely for us. Uh, Momo hit a new all-time high, a new IPO high today of 108. Beautiful stock. I mean, that was down around 40 not too long ago, in the 30s even. Sorry, that wasn't Momo. Momo's around 50, <laughs> $50 a share. But it was down in the 30s not too long ago. Nice place to enter there. Anyway, that's longer term stuff. So let's go back and take a look at some charts. Um, ASYS is the one I want to start with because this is the one that was a big disappointment today. Now, it is an American company that deals with semiconductors uh, that service the solar industry. And over the weekend, China came out with some new regulations regarding the solar industry that got all kinds of bad press. Apparently, they're putting the clamps down on solar industry in some form. And I, I don't know the details. Uh, they're still sort of uh, murky to me. But it hurt and hit hard all the solars, especially those with connections to China. And AS, uh, Amtec Systems certainly has a lot of connections to China. Um, if you're familiar with uh, the stock ticker symbols NQ, I'm trying to think of the name of the stock. Um, but it got it, it went way down last week and it went really way down today on this Chinese news. It is a Chinese semiconductor stock that services the solar industry. But let me just say that a stock like this that gets hit really hard without any material change to the company fundamentals is what I would consider to be a very nice buying opportunity. Now, ASYS has some impeccable fundamentals. Currently, it's trading around seven times earnings per share. That's super, super low, especially for a high-tech stock. Around uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.34, uh, sorry, 0 0.4 PEG. That's a PE to growth ratio, which is huge. 227% growth in its EPS last year. Trades on about a 0 0.7 times sales ratio. So my gosh, those are cheap shares with a lot of growth potential. And when you see a big red stick like this, you don't want to buy it right away. I mean, you can nibble on stuff down here, but um, you want to monitor this stock over the next few days to see if it forms a nice little rounded bottom or a V bottom. And that would be a nice place to put on a swing trade or trend trade uh, because of the fundamentals, right? Because you need to buy fundamentals. You swing the technicals 
but hold the fundamentals and this is a good stock to do that with there is a little gap down here around 760 that could fill that's why I've got that green box in there I I suspect it's going to act as support going forward but if it does fill and then bounces back up above the box that is your buy signal that's a very strong you want to go all in back up the truck on something like that uh, now I'll just show you the little bit of a technical thing here if you draw a I don't like that color let's change that color from red to yellow um, if we draw what some might call a Darvis box around the highs and lows intraday highs and lows of this stretch of trading right here where it went mostly sideways right not a lot of gain up or down that area going forward should act as support coming from above resistance coming from below so we've crashed through that whole area it was just not strong enough to hold the support so I suspect that it will now act as resistance going forward so if you're doing a swing trade you would want to buy it on any dip under eight into this green box and you'd want to sell it up here in the yellow box easy peasy now on a fundamentals basis buy it down here and hold it for several months and you may end up with a nice 50% return or higher. That's It's that kind of stock. Uh, let me show you what else. Uh, let's see. CLNE is when we have our cheap stocks letter in. Um, and it, we've been in it for a while. And it's been doing very well for a while. I mean, we got in, um, gosh, I don't know exactly, maybe around 180 or so. And here it is up. Did we get in that low? Maybe not. Anyway, uh, we're doing well <laughs> in this position. It had a really nice week last week, gave some gains back on Friday last week, sadly, but I think it's just a little bit of profit taking. And this yellow box here should act as some support going forward. This is the stock I wanted to focus on today. CVRR in the refining space. Got three big upgrades this year. Goldman Sachs upgraded it. Citigroup upgraded it. Everyone loves this stock for some very good reasons. 21 times earnings, which is a great low P.E. ratio for a refining stock. 0.6 times sales ratio. That's the sweet spot for me. 0.5 to 0.7, the sweet pot, sweet spot for your price to sales ratio. And it also pays a nice dividend, about 6%. 6% dividend, which is always a good healthy sign for any company that likes to give profits back to shareholders. Ramped up almost 500% earnings this year, and that's why it has just been on a tear. Now, if we scroll back and look at the bigger picture, we can see that this has been in a long term all the way going back to August of last year, 2017, when it bottomed out below seven. And here it is just uh, less than a year later, 10 months later, up at 26. Hello, that's the kind of return that we love to see. Now, this scan, the, sorry, this stock began showing up on my momentum stock scans in this area, in this green triangle right in here. We got our momentum letter subscribers long this stock and had a very nice rally until it got up into this area and then it started triggering some of our oversold, uh, sorry, overbought, overbought um, uh, reactions and so it came off the scan at that point. It then went into this long cup formation where you know it dipped way down and then back up again slowly and it was on a breakout that it started to show up on my the scan that I use for my hot stocks letter and at this point the valuations came way down because the earnings were going so up, uh, up so high see this little earnings marker right here when that when those earnings came out they were so good that it knocked the valuations down far enough for this to sh start showing up on my hot stock scans because we only buy stocks with really uh, strong valuation metrics and it's been a nice run ever since now I've got it in my trend trade letter because of the nice little swing dip down here that gave us another entry point and it's just been up and up and up since then now this is a great company to hang on to for a while uh, it the, the immediate run is probably mostly done at this point but I do s expect it to get up into the upper 20s, if not low 30s, in the next couple of months. Okay, everybody, that's it for today. God bless everyone, and we'll see you soon. Bye now.